Meanwhile, let's get... Welcome back to Nov's Explorer Radio. 13 months after the explorers left home, it's time to get back to reality. Blimey, Colin, where has the time gone? As our epic adventure draws to a close, there isn't much time to reminisce as we've still got a lot of travelling to do. Join us as we cross back over the English Channel and make a beeline for our home in Shropshire. There's much to be excited for returning to our hometown, not just black currant squash and crumpets, but more importantly, seeing friends and family, albeit socially distanced. We returned home five days before the UK announced the revised 14-day self-quarantine rules when returning from France. But thank you to everyone who sent us a message to warn us about this. Hello and welcome back to the last ever Flora and the Novice Explorers video. No, it's not going to be ever, it's just of this year's trip. Adventure, series one we'll call this. Series one, first ever adventure. And it's gone really well, touch wood, we're not quite home yet, but I mean, for, you, for some of you that have been following us for a while, you know that it's been just unreal really, mm. we've had such an amazing time, and it feels kind of ready to be heading to be heading home, just reset, get things in order. I don't want to, you, but... You can say that, yes. So, um, for people that are new to the channel, we have got over 50 travel vlogs to mm. go back and view. Uh, but, because quite a lot of you that will have seen those already and know exactly the journey that we've been on since July 2019. So, tonight we are preparing for our tunnel crossing at 11 tomorrow morning. We're currently at... Oh, I've forgotten the name of it. Can you take it off me? So while Meg finds out the exact name, essentially we've been in France for around about a week and we had to drive from Toulon right in the south where we got the ferry to, right up north to near Calais where we are. Yeah, we are at... <laughs> you just look. <laughs> it's, it's not sinking in. Uh. Pla... Plage de Sangat. We are at Plage de Sangat, which is about 10 minutes from the Euro Tunnel and about 20 minutes to the west of Calais. And you can actually see the f um, the ferries just crossing here. They look massive, don't they? Mm. Yeah, we'd severely underestimated how long uh, it would take to get from Lake Annecy to Calais. Um, I think we'd forgotten how big France is and how slow the non-toll roads are. <laughs> yeah, in Sardinia, every drive drive was about 30 minutes, an hour, hour and a half was probably the longest drive we had. Um, but like Meg said, you just forget the scale of it. So yesterday we drove about eight hours in 40 degree heat the van was showing and it was horrendous. We have no uh, air con, so it was pretty miserable, wasn't it? We know for sure that traveling like this, this fast is not our style. No, it put you in a right bad mood, didn't it? Doesn't sound like me. Oh, honestly, <laughs> everyone, he was, I'm just sad. I'm not going to be cramped in a little tin van with you for 365, nearly, what was it, 400, probably about 400 days. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to miss that. Yep, so it's our last little walk on the beach and tomorrow we will talk you through the process of the tunnel during August of 2020. That evening we enjoyed our last sunset of this year's adventure. It was one of the most stunning we had seen. It gave us a moment to contemplate our journey and reminisce about our year on the road. 404 days of pure adventure, freedom and flexibility, even with the unexpected Covid pandemic, cementing our desire to keep exploring and adventuring in our tiny home on wheels. This is all we ever want to do. Good morning, we are 
not really wide awake, are we? <laughs> I'm not, you can probably tell. We had a good sleep in this car park despite the proximity to the road. We had police coming around a couple times last night and a lot of activity, but didn't really bother us too much, did it? No. Nope. We slept. We've got about a 10 minute drive now towards the tunnel. How'd you feel? Well, a little bit nervous, I really feel very prepared. We might experience quite bad weather going home, apparently. Thunderstorms, um, we're, uh, we've been told. Yeah, it'd be quite nice because the van's a bit dirty. <laughs> so I'll save us a few quid. And we're kind of planning what we need to do. We've got everything like we need to get home. We filled up with diesel, we've got food and stuff. So we might just blast it straight back to our home, which seems really quite odd, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, it, it, everything's okay at the moment. We've just got to make it to the tunnel and hopefully we don't miss our train. <laughs> So that was a pretty easy process, pretty stress-free. We had to um, just make sure that our gas bottle was disconnected, which we had done already, but we had to show them. Um, no particular checks, would you say, really, other not than the too, gas bottle? Not too stringent, yeah. Um, they were checking some vehicles, but we got through, yeah. even with Med, Meg's dreads. Yeah, so. normally they think <laughs> I'm smuggling something. I don't know about you guys, but I would not let this person on the train. <laughs> I know you're not meant to smile, Meg, but poof, that's next level. So we must thank Legal Aves for keeping us up to date with all of the changes. Generally, he's uh, always emailing us with top tips and just general information. And through him, we found out early about the passenger locator form, which is a government form, immigrations and visas, which you have to fill in about where you've been, where you're going, um, loads of information, passport details, and if you don't fill that in by the time you get to British soil or even come through customs, you, you could face a hundred pound fine. Thank you. <laughs> Saved us a bit of money. Yes, so thank you, Lee, for everything. So we are already en route, and the crossing takes 35 minutes, which I'm quite excited for because that last ferry we went on from Sardinia to Toulon was goddamn horrendous and we felt like crap afterwards. So 35 minutes and it cost 211 euros, I think. Not too bad. No. Direct route home and then we're going to hit the road and drive straight back to what once was our home. <laughs> Right, so we're off the train, and that was incredibly painless. Uh, there was, I thought there was going to be checks on once we got off with our documentation and stuff, but no, we're pretty much just straight on the M20 for 60 kilometres, and then we've got about, I think, about a four-hour drive until we reach our home in Shropshire. We are driving on the left, everyone! Yeah, we're trying to remember which what the speed limits are, <laughs> which side of the road is the slow lane, um, I'm sure I'll be fine as I'm riding a bike. Yeah. Highly recommend the tunnel. I think I'm done with ferries for the rest of time. Oh, yeah. yeah, I am done with ferries now. We always get so hyped up and they're always so crap that that tunnel experience, 35 minutes, we barely even put a podcast on. No. So yeah, I don't think we're going to film much of the drive really. You know what the uh, motorways in England look like. Yeah, we'll pick up the camera later on and let you know how it goes. We were soon back driving on familiar roads, ones we hadn't driven down in over a year. The Shropshire countryside looked lovely, lush and green. It hadn't changed a bit. We're home! How long did it take, about four hours? Four hours, pretty straightforward, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it's weird. No drama, <laughs> no traffic. No traffic, as soon as we hit close to home, you could smell the, uh, the manure and the familiar smells. <laughs> it's been about 33 degrees today, so 
there hasn't been a huge difference in coming from France to England, which is a bit It's a bit disorientating. Strange. We're currently parked outside the flat in our little uh, parking space, and it just feels a bit peculiar, like we're not really mm. here. A bit nervous, but I don't really know why. Well, the flat's going to be empty. It's just going to be all surreal. It's time to see what we've left behind, or what we had left behind. How'd you feel? I don't know me head from me on. Well, I don't know me. <laughs> I'll leave that one in because I know what you were going to say. <laughs> I don't know my bottom from my elbow at the moment. Very surreal. We've got the house keys ready. Yeah, we haven't seen those for a while. Ah, I've oh, missed that. Oh, missed that, that junction. That junction's terrible. Right. Come on then. So whilst we'd been away, Meg's sister had moved in and looked after the place for us. But now she's moved out, the property is empty and on the market. It's over and we're back home. That year away that we planned for, for what, three years if not more, is over and done and it all feels like a dream already. We had ordered COVID home test kits to put our mind at ease. We had no symptoms, but we wanted clarity that we weren't asymptomatic. One of our first tasks was to carefully follow the instructions and send it off. Some of us found it easier than others. Right, we've found our priority post box and now we're off to drop it in an hour before six o'clock, which is just about right. Let's go. Better get a mask from the van. Uh, the first bath in around six months, I'd say. Um, next time, I think we're definitely going to take the bath with us in Flora. We'll make it fit, won't we? Absolutely not. <laughs> and just to make the experience that little bit more special, we're off the red wine. This is not the Camp Lockdown anymore. This is the UK's finest black currant squash. <laughs> That's been very sorely missed. <laughs> Don't quite know why he's here. <laughs> That's not ours, is it? <laughs> but he watches over us in the bath. The whole living in that van thing is kind of a distant memory now. Um, I've washed the dirt and sweat off, so yeah, this is my life now. Um, Pampered, and I think you're right, the face mask is dripping into my eyes. That night the bad weather really closed in. It bucketed it down and the thunder and lightning put on quite the show. However, this was just the beginning of two weeks of constant rain. We got no furniture, we got no bed. So this is the van's bed that we're using now. And I'll tell you what, it looks very, very small once it's inside a large room. <laughs> I don't know how we've squeezed on this for the last year, um, but it's very comfortable. Not as comfortable as the boat slats, flat, flat, flat floor. No, flat, but then... Fl flat floor. <laughs> <laughs> but then we did sleep into about half nine, ten, so maybe, you know, get up earlier. Maybe, maybe. maybe. So we've woken up this morning and had crumpets, which we have missed like you wouldn't believe. Crumpets are the best. 
No, I can take it or leave them. Oh, this is a nice treat, but come on. I'll make oh. better things. I love crumpets. We've got <laughs> plenty of other foodie bits that we've missed that we're going to just cram into our diets in the next week. Something that's quite bad, uh, as soon as I got here, I spread out all my stuff in the van because there's room now, everything's kind of everywhere. And we just had a phone call that there is a viewing today on, on the this flat. flat. So we need to get out because it looks like we're squatting in here currently. <laughs> yeah. So we need to clean everything. Um, clean down the bath that we used, clean the sinks from the toothpaste and stuff. So we need to get going. And got we- Two hours. Which we, is all right, because we've only got a few bits. I know, but we want to make it tidy and as nice as possible. And then that's it. We're probably not going to be in this building again, really. Yeah, it's still ours. But we're now moving this afternoon to our future permanent-ish home, which is quite exciting. It's all go, all of a sudden. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ease yourself back into it, Meg. You've lived the van life for a year, yeah, but I don't know what I'm doing with myself. It's been two days since we got the um, tunnel home and I don't know my bottom from my elbow. It's mad. It's gonna take a bit of adjusting, I think, isn't it? Adjusting it. So that's it. End of an era, again. That's about two in two days. So it's time to jump back in the van for a few minutes, which is now a bit of a bomb site, isn't it? Yeah, there's a few bits and bobs in there. And we're gonna go and unload in the new destination. It's all a bit of a whirlwind, as Meg said. We don't really know which way's up at the moment. It feels like we should be doing loads, but there's nothing to do, but there is, but there isn't. I don't know, I'm very confused at the moment. Yeah. The squatters have been evicted <laughs> from the flat. God, imagine if they didn't warn us and just walked in with us. I was still in my pants. Yeah, it would have been shocking. They were snapped it up right there and then. <laughs> Doubt it very much. We are back in our beloved static caravan. Eagle-eyed viewers may remember that we were here just before we left on the adventure, just over a year ago. Yeah. Um, we are nestled away in the countryside. It's a beautiful spot where we are, very quiet. And we just love it here, yeah. don't we? Um, We've chosen to live here, actually. Yes, we? yeah, we still have the flat. Um, yeah, that's for sale, but totally empty. We sold all of our furniture, so it didn't really <laughs> make sense, but as, you know. As you saw. However, um, obviously this clip follows on directly from us leaving the flat. However, we have been home for nearly, nearly coming up three weeks now. Yeah. And this wasn't our, our intention to leave such a gap. I had grand plans of making a really nice returning home video, but it just hasn't happened that way, quite clearly. So it's been really great coming home, and I think living in this caravan is the next best thing to travelling around Europe. Definitely. Combining that with seeing all of our lovely family and friends, which have missed us very much, yeah. haven't all, they? Albeit slightly weird with the social distancing and uh, limited numbers, but it's yeah. uh, been quite a steady, gradual welcome home, which has been quite nice. Um, but in general, it hasn't been what I expected it to be. No. It's been a massive whirlwind. It's taking us a lot longer to readjust to the new normal with, not just with COVID, but just finding the time in the day to do everything that we've either promised or need to do or want to do. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it's taking a, taking a bit of time to... To readjust, a bit more than we thought. I think yeah. the first few days I thought, oh yeah, we're back home, it's back to normal, but it hasn't been quite that easy. No. And we've been lucky enough to both get quite a lot of work, yeah. which is something we sort of feared because obviously with the COVID and stuff, um, <clears throat> there's not quite as many jobs about as there once was, but we've both been very lucky. But Yeah, so Cal's working for my dad, doing bits and pieces and actual photography and videography mm. and like online work now. Yeah. And I'm in a lovely little coffee shop in the kitchen, so I'm happy. You're, yeah. you're also quite happy. I am happy, it's just finding the routine again. I find out I haven't had much time, like just editing our last couple of videos and even getting around to filming this segment. It's taken us so long and yeah. we feel like the uh, YouTube and Instagram stuff is like not on the back burner, but we find it so hard to keep up with it like yeah. we were doing. All we had to do when we were traveling around Europe in a van is to feed ourselves, keep going, <laughs> you know, uh, find where we, we're going for that night. You know, mm. we might need water, gas, supermarket. But then what else did we do in the day other I than know. reply to comments and make content? Now it's 
everything is like <laughs> back on back on our like routines and our like to do list. But yeah. we have every intention of keeping up the YouTube channel we, with weekly uploads if we can. It might be slightly more varied now we're home with weekends away and I know a lot more people want to see some cooking videos. We've got loads of those planned. Um, there's loads of videos we can make about our past year, obviously, um, but might give that some time. Yeah, there's some... also the flora upgrades, things that we want to change from our trip. There's yeah. like a long list, well that would be its own little series, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, ideally, I don't know about you, but you know, in the, in the not too distant future, I'd like to be able to do something similar to what we've just done. Maybe yeah. not for so long, but another big adventure or two, you know. It was just fantastic. Yeah. So if we can get back to that level, yeah, I think that's that's all we really ever want to do. But we've just got to find jobs that will allow us to do that full time. Which at the moment, the piggy bank literally has a couple of coins in the bottom. When you <laughs> shake it, there's nothing left really. So that needs to be topped up again. Like yeah. the flat needs to sell. Uh, we wanted to see all of our family and friends. Yeah, it's been good to come home. I think I said in, well, probably the beginning of this video, I said yeah. it kind of felt right to be coming home. Yeah. And I was looking forward to it. But now uh, it's been yeah, just a whirlwind and I showed you some of the weather raining every single day. Yeah. Like backing it down. Absolutely miserable. So, yeah, that's been a bit of a like, oh, yeah, we forgot how terrible the yeah. UK weather could be. So that might hinder the video making process. One thing as well, we're so glad we videoed all of our travels because now it feels... A little bit like a dream. Yeah, even editing our last Sardinian sort of vlogs sat in this caravan. It's like, is that us? Were we at these beautiful beaches? Yeah. It's so peculiar. But I don't know if you can see, it might be a bit bright outside. Flora's just parked out there and she's a bit more naked than the last time you saw her. We have removed the surfboards <clears throat> for the second time of their life. Yeah. <laughs> and we've also removed the roof box. And we had a good route around inside looking at all the things we never ever used. Well, we might discuss that later. Yeah, that'll be possibly a future video. Yeah, so some slightly more exciting stuff to talk about. Uh, next week, we will be doing a live stream Q&A, general chat, catch up, talk about whatever you want to ask us really about yeah. the adventure, what's happening next. I think there's a fair few burning questions which we need to answer, like what we're doing, how we're finding it back home, would we still be on the road and stuff, which I think that the best way to cover that is all in a live stream so we can discuss it as a group. And something slightly more exciting than that, possibly, depending which <laughs> what you consider to be more exciting. And where you live. For our UK audience, or people coming to the UK in September, we will be at the International Camper Van and Overlanding Show. It's on the September the 19th and 20th weekend. It's Stafford Racecourse. Stratford, Stratford, Stratford Don't, don't go to Stratford. <laughs> yeah, there will be a, a, the top link down below will take you to the to purchase tickets and to the website, so you can have a look there. Mm -hmm. And we've also got a 20% discount for anybody that does want to come if they use this code here. Um, that's our specific allocated code, and that'll get you 20% off your ticket price. It's at Stratford Racecourse, which is in Warwickshire. Yep. So it's only a couple of hours away from us, actually. Yeah, and there'll be other people there as well, um, other familiar faces, I'm sure. We don't know the full list yet, but we're slowly learning. Yeah, um, so Gadget John and Mandy. Yep. Liam the Terrible. Yep. Um, I think Luke's Mevy, van life. Luke's van life. But yeah, there's a few people going, and we will be there. I don't think we have anything. You know, we're not uh, showcasing anything. We'll be just in the YouTube well, village. YouTuber village. I'm <laughs> really excited, and my mum's even going to come along, so you get to meet <coughs> the postal lady Beck. <laughs> yeah, so that'd be exciting um, to see some of you in person. And one thing that Callum is slightly stressing about is that we don't know what your faces look like. We only know what your yes. YouTube, Instagram or Facebook name is. So <laughs> introduce yourself so that you give us a chance to be yeah. able to piece the pieces together <laughs> and work out who you are because this is a weird online world that we're in. So uh, apologies in advance if we're a little bit socially... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> be gentle with us. <laughs> but yeah, that'd be exciting. Um, so there's cool stuff in the pipeline. Um, more adventures to be had. Um, it's not the end. It's oh, no. not the end. It's just get more money. Well, is move it out. Yeah. But yeah, that's us for now. Until the next upload or our live stream next week. Yeah. Um, we'll be updating our members um, in the next few days about what's happening as well for those of you that are members of the channel. And yeah, just a really big thank you for following and enjoying our journey. We've loved sharing it and interacting with you all. It's just been great. It added a whole new element to our video making and 
the whole community that surrounds um, sort of van life and travel is so mm. um, positive, mostly, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And just, you know, we've met so many cool people, and maybe not all in person yet, but I know, there's just a... Uh, yeah, we've loved it and we really appreciate every comment and message and yeah. suggestion as well. So. All the emails, you know, you, you guys are taking the time out of your day to just send us even like, just love this video or yeah. thank you for this. Um, so it's been good. Yep, so we will stop waffling on. <coughs> we will prepare for next Sunday's live stream and we will see you then if you can make it. Get your questions ready and the kettle on the boil and we'll see you next week. Doodaloo!